Nassim, I want to ask you, um, what what would you say when you came out of spring training that maybe you told yourself but entering spring training that maybe you don't have to improve on this, but now leaving, you're saying, oh, look, this is something I may have to improve on to have success going on in the minor leagues and then eventually the major leagues. It was nothing really. I was working. I was thinking about improving on going into spring training, but coming out of it, most definitely moving my feet a little bit more, not relying on my arm as much because sometimes I could get lazy because – I know I can still get an out, but it just makes the game easier when I move my feet. It can make it it's much simpler throw. Same I want to ask, I, I ask if um who took on who who did who took you under their wing during spring training? John Jay was a big factor. Me and John Jay, we were like always with each other in the dugouts, even in the locker rooms. He's always just talking to me, teaching me the game. And of course, I would talk with Segura, Arias, Jazz. Stall cool. It was really the whole team kind of took me under their wing. Everybody gave me little nuggets. It was really cool. I want to ask that your your success last season. How did that help you now enter spring training? And I mean, have a successful spring training for for your for the standards that were probably expected out of you. All right. Um. It's the same game. You know, it's more at bats, more reps. I got more games under my belt. So now I'm just getting acclimated and continuing to learn who I am as a player and the way to play the game. But I would say it's most definitely something I want to build off of. You're back with Pensacola in 2023. What are your expectations? Maybe personal hey, expectations and then team expectations. Win. That's the only expectation. Is we, we need to win. We know what it felt like to win last year here in AA. So it would just be – it wouldn't be right if we didn't win again. And personal, I just want to be the best team player I could be be whatever I need to be for the team. Got you. And the other thing I want to ask you about is your work on the bases. Uh, you just said you want to move your feet a little bit more. Moved your feet pretty well last year from a stolen base perspective. So my question on this is, you're on first base. Are you looking to steal every single time? For sure. <laughs> every time. It doesn't. Gotcha. It, I mean, even when the numbers aren't in my favor, like if, it, if he's throwing like a one, two to the plate, I'm looking for something I can pick up to steal. I'm not just going to steal regularly because it's pretty quick to the plate. So, but I'm always looking to steal. Now, Seema, I want to ask you about the jerseys behind you. Your thoughts on the, on the new jerseys. I don't know about this one. It looks like, a, it's kind of like a Hawaii vibe, I guess. I think my <laughs> girlfriend will like it. <laughs> I like the mullet one. The black and pink is hard. And then this one, this one's cool. And of course the white ones are my favorite. I don't know how I'm looking as pink though. I guess we'll find out.